this is Hypersnap. It's a screen capture program for your desktop. I've used this program forever and it's one of my favorite programs. After installing it, there are a few things that I change. I go down and check on Restore After Capture. You can see below it says Restore and Bring to Front Hypersnap window after each capture. So I'll check that. Go to Quick Save. You want to change the file type to JPEG. Click Save and click Prompt for Name after each capture. Click OK. So we'll go to Capture and you can see it captures the full screen and below it says take a snapshot of the whole desktop. So we'll click on it and there's the autosave working. And I'll just click Save. Here is the capture of the desktop. Virtual desktop, capture entire virtual desktop on multi-monitor systems. So I'll just pass on that one. And for the next one, window, we'll need a window open. So we'll go to window. And you can see how these are highlighting. And when I click, it will capture one of these. So let's do a weird one. Let's do this one. Okay, I'm not going to save this one, but there it is. The next one is Active Window. Let's do the Active Window. Click on it. I won't save that. Here is Active Window. Active Window without frames, which is next, is just the frame around it is not saved. So we'll not do that one. So we'll go to the next one, which is Region. Region is what I use all the time. I don't really use any of the other options. So Region, it will create a crosshair. You can see in the corner that it is zoomed in. So you can get very precise if you need to. So I'll click, drag down, and you can see that the pixels are being displayed as I drag this down. And I'll click. So there is the capture of the region. Now let me open ACDC. So here are some photos of my cat Lennox. And let's do region again. Now I'm going to take a capture of this photo and you can see down in the corner I can see the pixels so I'll click click again well I just was one line of pixels off for that photo let me do one more region because I'm going to do pan last region next so I'll do this region I won't save it. Now the next one is pan last region. So it's going to create the same box and you can just show what you want to capture. So we'll capture these photos. So there you go. And the final one is repeat last capture, which repeats the last capture, obviously. I'll use Hypersnap when I'm creating an account. If I forget the details, I can just look here. I was installing Media Suite and I took a capture of the serial number just, just in case I lose the number. I'll take a capture if I get an error message so I can remember what the error message said. Here are my Google accounts. I can remember the username and password. I bought a hard drive and I took a capture of the details when I bought it online. Here's a capture about my Xbox Live and when it will expire. Here's a photo with the license on it. Ordinarily, it just appears up in the corner, but more recent versions, they may have uh, added these other two images. When I used it back in about 10 years ago, the license would just be up here. So obviously, they've changed that policy. So that was Hypersnap. I realize there's a snipping tool in Windows 7, but I use Hypersnap, and I always have. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.